Evening all. Oh, no respawns. Hope you're doing well. So, we are making the dock for my castle. Now, I did mention in the last video this one's vaguely linked to my crane in the sense of my rather weak RP. They're meant to work together. So, the crane on the castle. Oh, I like that tree. It keeps coming back. I don't know why it does that. But the, the tr it doesn't actually come back just when you flip through the menu. But the crane I've got on the turret to our left. The idea being that it's meant to lift all the boxes out of the boat and all of that bullshit. However, let's be utterly honest. One, it's never going to reach that far. And two, it's probably just not got much room anyway. But I don't care because it looks cool and that's all that matters. Yeah. So, also, I decided... Well, I didn't. Vaguely. So, I don't have as much space as I was expecting. Look, the, it do, happens a lot in these settlements where they don't really go out to see as much. Now, I could have gotten a mod which extended the build area but I've heard things and I know I know they probably work 100% fine but I decided to say fuck it no because I've got how can I put this a bit of investment <laughs> into my saves <laughs> considering like like my entire channel is you know building videos so I decided against actually installing one there are a couple that would have extended it out to the sea a bit more and I just thought fuck it you know what we'll just keep the docks small and it'll be fine some of you might go, but Davey, why? I'm so well. I, I don't really want to risk having saves corrupted. It's one of those things that could kind of later down the line cause an issue. And I'm like, it's not worth it, mate. Just not worth it. But it was quite fun actually, because I said because we've I've mentioned this before how I quite like having limitations and kind of being forced to overcome them. The way this dock looks, I really like, and it wouldn't have happened had I not had to think. Right, okay, I do not have as much space as I was expecting. It's a bit more of a humble, rickety dock as well. It does occur to me as well, I probably could have, um, like, shown you a bit more building. Just because, the I, like, there's about half an hour once I chopped down a building. But, I did quite a lot of decoration. But we'll see. I, I, I do the, the tour's quite slow, so it's all grand. This is me just fucking around with the dock piece, which doesn't work. So that rock, because at this very moment, I don't have the scrap that settlement knob, uh, Mod enabled. Knob enabled? Oh, Freudian slip there, Davey. Freudian slip, you knob. Anyway, but yeah, I don't have that enabled. And so in a minute, I'm going to try and make something. And that fucking boulder is just a complete twat. This is where I have a bit of trouble with this boat as well. <laughs> Holy shit. So I basically um, had to enable the scrapping mod. Which you have to be really careful with when you're at the castle because... You can accidentally delete the castle walls. It looks ridiculous. I decided to leave this in because I thought it was funny. Just my attempts at finding a place where I can place the boat down. Don't forget, this is sped up twice as much, if not a little bit more. And this is me attempting desperately <laughs> to find somewhere that I can just place the boat. Just, just going to let me place the boat? I do place the boat, don't worry. It's fine, but it just it just takes a while, doesn't it? Look at this. I didn't have this... Actually, no, I like. I did actually slightly have this problem in Spectacle Island, which was the other place that I had a boat like this, and it took fucking ages. But the castle's even worse, because we don't have any kind of, like, real flat area beyond the inside to actually use. So I'm kind of pillar glitching this in. The boat was really tricky, because I said, because half of it, the build area is quite small, so it kind of stuck half out, and it was very, very difficult to get it in. I do get it in with much... Is your seat tweaking? There it is. I had to kind of put it on faith that I got it straight. Also, because of the fact that due to the limitations of the build area meant I had to build a bit closer to that rock, which is why it changed the way the dock worked. But I'm actually quite happy with it. So this is why I don't mind. It's quite cool. So it's quite grand, this. We'll see in a minute. I'll try this, and it just doesn't work. I'll try it again, it just doesn't work. There are little ones as well that I try. Don't work, mate. It just doesn't work. Look, it's too close. Look shit. Also, the big dock one is really weird because it's kind of... You don't see me, but I do... I've got the scrap mod now. Mod, eh, mod enabled now. And also, that doesn't look stupid when it's removed. But there's a bigger pier piece that's uh, one of these, like, two of them stuck together. And I was initially... that The initial plan was to use them, but they look ridiculous. If you actually look at them, they're kind of, like, wavy, and they're just, they're just not angled right, so... But anyway, this is my funky, funky little pier thing that I do. I forget the shack bridge exists. I forget it all the time. This whole little section of the tab. So this is me just fucking around. But these shack bridges are amazing. And I need to make better use of them. There's like a really big um, 
It's a really long one as well. And if you check in the Safari Zone, so in Unlock Seven Objects, it's under Decorations, Themes, Nuka World, Safari Zone. There's actually another bridge, which is like this kind of like jungle bridge, which looks awesome. And I want to make use of them in places, but I don't know where. I mean, the idea will come to me, but I just, yeah, I want to make use of them. So this is me, um fucking around trying to get I actually do get this as straight as I wanted to by the way but I then have to improvise I like improvising I like having to address problems because it just it just changes things end up organically looking different and I like it so this is me trying to lower it down because I want the same height obviously but it looks a bit twattish so then I go okay we have to do something different or it's not going to work and at first I try and be stubborn get it in what I'm trying to do is get it to snap to the side but it's um the foundation won't go that low it's because of that corner bit over there, but it's fine. Because we go, all right, all right, mate, we'll just, you know, change it up, won't we? And we do, and it looks really good. So there we go. I didn't decorate the boat so much in this. I was gonna do it similar to how we'd done in my boathouse video from Spectacle Island. But one, obviously you can see there, like most, kind of half the build, like the whole cabin you can't build in at all due to the fact that it's out the build area. And also, Given the style of this little kind of, as you can see, very rickety pier, I decided to just kind of leave it as is. We put quite a bit of stuff, like kind of crates and shit in the back, but I kept it quite vanilla. I hope you like it. I like it. I like this place. It looks cool. It looks cool. Also, just because you will pop some of people will notice, there are going to be buildings. When I start just doing my kind of general decoration bits, which I may or may not put in a video, I'm going to have like guard posts and guard towers outside here. So it won't be just, you know, um... <laughs> Just a, a random, like, pier that's completely undefended. Although I do put two turrets next to it, but it's going to have actually dudes working on it. See, you can rug glitch these as well, which is grand. So you can basically just kind of, like, plop them in place like this. And they just work really well. So, seriously, I need to make better use of these bridges because they're just beautiful little walkways. And it really works with this kind of rickety pier vibe I've got going on. It's looking good. Here's me outside the wrong menu because I'm getting confused. I do that quite often. Stupid USO. <laughs> or rather me not paying attention because it very clearly is labelled USO and I don't look. Look at what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to put the piers on. So as I said, you probably noticed already, I've started kind of falling in love with these ball track supports a little bit. Still waiting on someone making a mod which gives me one of those singular. Those saying that I haven't even checked, so fuck me really, to be honest. Really? <laughs> I haven't looked. I went through the mods. I haven't actually checked out any new mods in ages. Pretty much since starting the castle, I think. I had a good look. Yeah, no, so about a month I haven't actually checked out any new mods. And I checked. And there are a few good ones. I haven't done a mod review in a while as well. For the reason being as I didn't want to uh, break the little system we go in with the castle. But I might do a mod review after. The, or start doing a few more mod reviews after the castle's finished. So a shack bridge walkway. I... I in hindsight, I put it in the wrong place. So you, when you've seen me put the steps in, they're a little bit too close, and I forgot I haven't even moved them in the decoration. So I need to, I need to get on that basically because they look a bit knobbish. Um, I like this, by the way, because I couldn't snap a floor piece in there. Yeah, but what I could do is rug glitch one of these little pallets, and it looks rather good. So there we go. Look, at, look what it means. It looks really rickety, and you'll you'll see it when I've done the tour. Um, it looks very very cool. It's just suiting it, I think. And the good thing is, is you can actually vaguely see my houseboat in Spectacle Island. Because this is obviously, Spectacle Island's just over there. You can see it through that little window on the side. You can see a few of the structures up there. And so what I'm going to do is, well, this is linked. Actually, I don't need to because there's already a pier there. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I was going to build a pier, but I might, like, tweak the pier that's already pre-existing at Spectacle Island so the, that these two settlements are connected. Maybe even have like um, a Minuteman kind of little mini outpost at Spectacle Island so it's, you know, like supplying it. Oh, yeah! Because I don't really have much, much space for like farms and shit. Because I want to do a big farming area on Spectacle Island. So Spectacle Island could be one of them, not all of them, but one of the places that supply food to the castle. So there we go. Now, here I, I I kind of ummed and ahed for quite a bit. So this is actually a little bit further on because I, I kind of scrapped what I initially put here, which was a kind of much... I, I tried to 
glitch one of the misc structures in it was one of the if you know an Ob overland station you've got those little train towers the white ones with the steps so i've wanted to use one of those in a build for a while and my intention was to glitch in and kind of have it connected to the pier but the problem is is i didn't realize it, it has the staircase actually sinks lower than the foundation it just wouldn't glitch in properly basically as they too long didn't read so i had to change it up and actually i went for the um bit more I say old school it is technically old school because you know these have been out for a while but I, I went for just kind of like a bit of a standard open warehouse instead i did during the decoration phase which i do slowly walk by to so show you because my always problem with the with the warehouses is the fact is they're quite ugly looking like they look really bland they're a bit too bland for me so here we go look you'll see so i basically pillar glitched a few boards. Don't worry, I go around the side. As you can see, it's quite clustered. So I, I pillar glitched, you know, those little um, half wall pieces. I popped a little boat here and it's got a turret in there. And I've done it again. See, so just to add a little bit of texture break up on the side, because I always find the sides of warehouses. This is the kind of stuff I should have showed you, but I did it like midway through the decoration part. But I always find the, the warehouses look a little bit ugly. Um, I also changed the roof up as well because it was bothering me. But as you can see, so I kind of kept this, decorated it. It's just, it's just kind of like a loading dock area. Oh, there's no power to it yet as well because I haven't... I have to wire up it. It would take ages. But yeah, it's, it's quite cool. I like it. It's like a rickety little dock outside the castle. This will obviously... What I'm going to do is there'll be more structures near this, like some guard towers. So this whole area will look a little bit more busier. I like that little turret there. With the flag that just kind of shoots you if you piss it off. And the boat's quite vanilla as well, but it's got all of the ammo crates and shit in the back but yeah hope you guys like that it's quite cool isn't it and i like how this this entire style of this dock changed due to my limitations but i quite like it now it actually looks different to how i envisioned but i think it almost looks better than what i was aiming for um, which i guess is my castle build in a nutshell anyway as always follow me on twitter at no respawns i'll have a new video up soon gonna do another prey video i think and then we've also got to pick up and get on with the castle. Until then, anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.